Okay. Hey, this is George Mazel, Super Magnet Man again, here to give you another tip or two about how to use super magnets. What I want to show you this time has to do with the holiday season. One of the things everybody likes to do is hang a wreath on their door or on their bay windows. Now, if you're hanging it on the door, we've got some hooks that'll work with that if you've got a metal clad door, but we don't have one for the, for the wood, wood clad doors. The ones that are metal, you can use one of these hooks. This is what we call our coat hook, or it's like a hook 201. This hook has a soft foam pad on the underside, and it's got a super magnet embedded inside. Now, I have a rubber coated magnet that'll snap together with this when we use this on a bay window or on a door. Now, I don't have a bay window, so I'm going to show you how this works on a regular wooden door window. Let's take a look. Okay. This is going to show you, you don't want to just let these two slam together, it might break your window. What you want to do is line them up so that one is above the other, but they're attracting. Then you hold it tightly and let it slide into place. When it slides into place, you've got it locked in. If you take a look, this, this will not come down. This will hold up five or six pounds before it would start to slide. This is very good. Now, we're ready to hang this, hang our wreath. Let's watch. All right, now we've got our wreath and we're ready to hang it. We just put it on the hook and we can leave it and it's ready to go. There you have it, an easy way to use magnets to hang up your Christmas decorations. Stay tuned for the next exciting way to use super magnets. I wanna tell you about another idea that when people talk about this, it just blew me away. There's no way this is true. And they said, yes, it does work using super magnets to change the traffic lights. Now, this doesn't make a traffic light change that's not gonna change anyhow. What it does is it helps your vehicle to be more detectable by the ground loops that they have installed at traffic lights. The guy that was asking about this to begin to get me started on this had a motorcycle, and he said he always sits at the traffic light on his motorcycle, and he wanted a way that when that light motorcycle pulled up, it would make the light change. We found the right magnet, he tested it, said it works beautiful. He's traveled all over Orlando, Florida with it, could tell every traffic light when they were working and not working. So we're going to show you on my car, I'm going to be using one that's about two inches, maybe about two, by two and a half, and a little about a half inch thick. This is about the size we need. Now cars that are too small need a magnet like this. If they're too small for the uh, detectors to pick them up, or pickup trucks, a lot of times the ground clearance on a pickup truck's got all the metal mass too high off the ground and it doesn't pick up. But this is how you can help that out. Watch as we show you how to install this magnet. Now then, you'll see, I'm going to take this and I'm just finding a spot. It really doesn't matter. You don't want to get it near anything that it could damage, but I'm going to put this in place right on the frame and let it lock in place. You want to find a place where it's going to stay so you don't have to worry about it coming off. And you don't want to get just too big of a magnet so that it's going to uh, pick up manhole covers or anything, but you put it in place. Make sure once you're satisfied that it's in place good, you've got it. Now, you're ready to go out and test it and see how it works. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, this is George. I wanted to show you one more little thing, though, that really helped me out a lot. I've just got this new car. It's actually not a new car. It's like a 12-year-old car. One of the things that happened is it doesn't hold the trunk lid up, and every time I stuck my head in the trunk lid, it would come down and hit me in the middle of the back. Well, I got tired of that. I said, how can the super magnet man solve this problem? So take a look at what you see inside the trunk here. You see the large magnet? I put it on that, and when it goes up, it sticks in place and holds the trunk lid up. This way, now you can back out. This way, the super magnet man doesn't get guillotined by his own trunk lid. Another great idea I had is I have a problem with my garage door at the house. Every time the garage door would come down, the wheels would jump out of the track, and I had a hard time. I kept trying adjusting everything, tilting everything. I couldn't find any way to make it come in. I said, what can I do? Check this out. Put a large magnet on it. Everywhere that it was wanting to jump out of the track, I put a magnet on the other side. Now when it comes down, the magnet pulls the wheel back down in the track and it does not jump out of the track. This is just another one of thousands of uses you can have to use super magnets to solve everyday problems. Hope this helps you out. All right. Hey, now I'm going to show you the last one for this little video clip. 
comes from hanging tools. Now, one of the things guys always want to do is hang their tools in a way that can make it easy to access them anytime they want to get to them. So I've got this idea using the magnets. Now, this is using one of our magnets. It's from the BNDL 330, which is about 50 millimeters or two inches long, about a half inch wide, and about three sixteenths of an inch thick. And then I got a piece of channel. I just picked this up at Lowe's, and I can take this channel and slide the magnet in from one end. Now, I take my next magnet, and I just lay it in next to it. You want to lay it down kind of easy. You don't want it to slam in and take a chance on breaking. Once you get the magnets in place and sort of push together, now you've got a solid magnet bar on the inside. Now we're ready to test it. Let's hang up a big one. This is a 16-inch crescent wrench holding it just fine. 12-inch crescent wrench, Phillips head screwdriver. Now we got some channel lock pliers. As much as you want to hang, this will do it. Now you need it any time, you just pull it right off and it's ready to go. You just twist the screwdriver off. It's a lot better when the shelf is holding it. I just drilled a couple of holes in this, mounted on the underside of a shelf, and all my tools are easily accessible. Just at a grab, I can get it and it's ready to go. Hope this helps you. Have a great day.